As per research done over the years, it has been concluded that 93% of our communication is actually non-verbal, and 55% of that is a body language, which makes a body language a very important tool, especially at the time when we are networking. My name is Paratosh Parik, I'm India's leading strategic networking coach, and in this video, we're talking about five things that you need to keep in mind about your body language while networking. The first one is going to seem very obvious, and that is be comfortable. But more than that, always be aware of how you are feeling. A lot of time while networking, people come under pressure and they continue to think about what they need to do and don't take a moment to pause and reflect about how they're exactly feeling. So take this pause time and again, ask yourself, how are you feeling? And if you're feeling a sense of pressure, anxiety, or any fear, it's okay for you to step back for two minutes, take a few deep breaths, gather yourself, and then come back into action. Number two, don't be distracted. At networking events, I often see people talking to someone, but constantly breaking eye contact and looking for the next person they want to talk to. This obviously breaks the connection that two people can build during a conversation. Instead, be entrusted ask great questions, lead the conversations, compliment, genuine obviously, disagree if you have to respectfully, but be involved in the conversation with the person that you're having with. Number three, always have an open body language. What is that? At networking events, you'll see a lot of people, when they start to feel uncomfortable, they'll start to turn away from the person because they're not really comfortable having a conversation. And if not that, they will bring something in between, stand across a table, hold their folders close to their chest, cross their arms, do something to come into a defensive, or as we call it, a close body language position. Now, what this does is that it sends a subconscious signal to the other person that you're either not comfortable or not interested. And when that happens, it takes away the entire objective of having a conversation with someone. So instead, always have an open body language. If you are holding something, keep it on the table, free yourself so that you can conversate with the person. And if you don't have a table to keep your stuff on, hold it to your side so that you can have an uninterrupted conversation with the person that you're talking to. Number four, hand gestures. Using your hand gestures when you communicate with someone it creates a very powerful impact. But right now, let me ask you, how does it feel that when I'm talking to you without my hand gestures versus now that I'm using my hand gestures to have a conversation with you? Feels different, right? Yes. Research done has identified that when we use our hand gestures to complement what we are saying, the impact is 60% stronger. So keep your hands free and available and use them to complement the message that you are giving. And last, this one's going to sound too simple, but it has a, it's extremely powerful, and that is remember to smile. I understand that networking can be a difficult experience for a lot of us, especially if you're an introvert, or you could have fears of networking, or you could be feeling under pressure. And at times like that, it's very easy to forget to smile. But when we do smile, especially while starting a conversation and equally important while ending one and exiting from that conversation. When we smile, it sends a signal to the other person that we are comfortable, genuine and authentic. And that is one of the most important aspects of creating a connect while networking. I hope that these five strategies of using your body language while networking help you. And if you are looking to take your networking skills to the next level, I'd like to invite you to the new Rules of Professional Networking Workshop happening real soon. The details are in the description. This is Paratosh Parak signing off, wishing you a great network. As per research done over years. Number two, don't be distracted. While talking to people at networking events, I often see. Number two, 